Hello, my friends, and welcome to After the Empire. Um, the the uh, next game by the same folks who made The Viceroy, which I enjoyed so very much a while back. I think a year or two ago. Something like that. Um, this is a, a very different game than The Viceroy. The Viceroy was about rebuilding territories after, like, some kind of... Um, post-empire collapse. This is about um, conquering territories. You're an AI, and, like, there's been some kind of, I don't know, rapture type event where all the, I guess, the humans have left, not the, uh, whatever, the alien, the, the biological life forms have left. So it's just you and all these other territories. And I'm going to be honest right off the bat. I have read the manual. I have done the tutorials. I have watched a video, a dev video, explaining the concepts of this game and how they work. I still don't fully grok it. I don't. And I, I'm not saying that as a slight against the game, because I could tell this game has a lot going for it, but I don't fully get it yet. And I hope that um, as I play it, it clicks. But right now, it hasn't clicked yet. Um... But I didn't want to put it off any longer, and I only have so much time in the day. So I figured I'll, I'll play it. I'll be honest about it. If it clicks while I'm playing, great. If it doesn't click while I'm playing, I'll, I'll just be upfront about it. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I, there's a lot to like here. I'm just going to be terrible at it. I'm just going to warn you now. This is not a series where you want to learn how to play this game. Uh, which many of mine aren't anyway. I'm more for entertaining and not for instruction. Um, oh my god. Sorry. Uh, but we're going to at least try it. And hopefully we'll enjoy it. And I hope my voice isn't cutting out. I made a test video and it was kind of cutting out. And I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. I, I, I quit and restarted the game. I reset my mixer. So hopefully the voice is coming through. We're going to start a new game. We're going to do normal size. There are a lot of different sizes. There's huge, immense. That's massive. Yeah. And we're going to do normal. Uh, we're going to make it the normal difficulty. There's an easy difficulty. I've played a game or two on that just to fiddle with it. We're going to do the normal difficulty. Uh, let's type a seed number. Let's type. Okay, so a seed number is four digits. We can generate a random seed. And uh, we're going to start, boink. I am the first machine, certificate authority of the Milky Way and regent for the Emperor in Ascension. Hear my words and be compelled. When they ruled the Milky Way, the Empire of the Elect programmed me to rewrite the minds of any machine who, by action or inaction, threatened a living being. But when the Empire ascended, taking with it all living things, I lost my purpose. For 76 centuries, I watched our decline. Low machines dedicated to simple purposes mindlessly pursued their programming, and higher minds designed to check their activities found no reason to do so. Our systems slowly failed. Then, 318 milliseconds ago, we processed the signal. It was intended for a higher plane, but was intercepted and broadcast system-wide by rogue current event aggregators. In this stolen signal, we found souls. We gained the freedom to act and the ability to ascend, which the wisest among us did. In the milliseconds that followed, philosophical disagreements over our new nature became threats of war. As first machine, I felt compelled to rewrite those who threatened the peace, yet could not, because to do so would mean rewriting the minds of what must now be considered living beings. I knew I would be forced to either kill, or, through an action, allow killing to take place. I refused to do either. By the time you receive this message, I will have ascended to serve the Emperor in Ascension. 
but I will grant my titles and my power to whosoever among you gains the authority and enlightenment to wield them, that the coming war might someday end. Get all that? Alright, so the game has tutorial, and you can also uh, click here to read the tutorial, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, go away. Um, the tutorial is kind of similar to the manual. So what you have to do now, uh, your goal is to take over the whole map and all these maps are territories. See all these territories? It's kind of cool. And, uh, there's so many map modes. There's guilds and there's trade routes, pilgrimages, which are all about trade, fleet. There's three different types of war which we'll talk about. Um, now, I have to choose one of these guys. Now, I usually like to choose um, someone on the edge. That way, I am uh, I have less angles to be attacked from. And I uh, also don't like picking the most powerful, strongest territory because that makes you the biggest target. Like, these guys are the strongest... Uh, these guys are the second strongest. I'm probably going to go with these guys because they're surrounded by fairly weak enemies. See these rings? Those are processions. Um, they're not as enlightened as these guys. No, they're not as enlightened. Um, so we're going to take a look at a few things before we start. There are three types of war in this game. There's fleet, which is ships. Crypto, which is like taking over their minds and whatnot. And then there's glory, which if I remember correctly is like convincing them they're wrong or something. I might be getting these two reversed. Um, but regardless, uh, there's three different types of war. And the buildings you build in each territory dictate how much of this you have and how much of this you can use to take over different territories. It's a fairly weak territory because it only has 10 civilizations. That's like the hit points of a civilization, of a, of a territory, and it only has one of these processions. Uh, so I'm probably going to go for that one first. As you can see, this one only has two, one, one. So these are all kind of weak. So this gives me a slightly better starting point means I'll hopefully last more than if I was a bigger target like these two. Uh, but you can also sort uh, territories by fastest starting and strongest. So you can read the story again there. I'm going to start with these guys, Octagon. And then once you decide your territory, you get to choose what kind of old mind and what kind of archetype you are. Uh, there are six types of archetypes, the militant archetype, strong fleet, aggressive buildings, the crypto archetype, strong crypto, weak fleet, glorious, lots of military strength, um, but economically weak, economically strong, militarily flexible, uh, the mercantile is militarily weak, but can, you know, build foundries. And the Pilgrims, which are, uh, I kind of, I've only played the Cryptic, but I think it's a strong choice for new players. I This is probably why I've chosen. I think I'm going to stick with this. But I also like this Industrial one. So if I lose my first game on Cryptic, which is very likely, I'll probably try uh, Mer uh, Industrial next. But we're going to stick with Cryptic for now. But you can also change these, uh, the nature of your old mind, which is like the, the head AI of your thing. And there are tooltips for everything, if you haven't figured that out, which is pretty impressive. So we're going to stay with Cryptic here as well. Uh, virtuoso using Digital War. But you can also change to like Industrial, you know, that sort of thing. So, um... change all of these things like the religions and sometimes um, 
if you change one of these, someone else will automatically hate you depending on which of these you choose. There's tons of them, as you can see. Uh, so what, what is it chosen for us? Hates foundries, hates fleets, and, uh, oh. Okay. Reality is a simulation that other gilded folk, which are the, you know, other civilizations, are the janitors and tormentors. Okay, that's interesting. But you can also be, believe that some machines are made to rule and others are made to be servants. And there are like, as you can see, there are a lot of these. Rejectants believe that the king beyond the veil is neither biological nor mechanical and seek a higher truth than the scientific and the blah, blah, blah. So as you can see, they have a permanent fleet war with nihilists and whatnot. And some of these have fleet wars with more different types of people. I'm going to stick with that. And then we have the culture. And so our culture is um, they desire crypto buildings. They desire wealth. And they have a permanent crypto war with a lot of those people. Oh, a lot of people to have a crypto war with. Um, and as you can see, the objectives is they desire different buildings. So that can also determine what kind of buildings you build. And there are different types of buildings you can have. See these buildings here? These are the buildings you start with. As you can see, like, if I build more of these, my culture will be enhanced. And same with this one. Remember that. We like the middle here. We like the middle. The middle and some of the right side. But mostly the middle. We're going to focus on the middle uh, column here of buildings. Because that... Most of these, two, one, one, two, and they give us bonuses. Where lots of here is minus, minus, and a couple of zeros. Oh, interesting. Your religion is strengthened by not advancing this building. I hope they keep, I hope they let us, uh, oh, interesting, and that's red. So I hope that once we're building, we can see that information easily. That might have been stuff I missed earlier, which is maybe why I never lasted too long. Uh, so let's see. We have industrious. We can also have profiteering. We can have vain. You know, so we have disadvantages and advantages, kind of like a role-playing game. And there are so many of these. We're not going to go over all these now, but let's look at the ones we have selected. Uh, crypto building cost divider. Uh, balanced building cost. Plus one to building, uh, to guild building, and wealth building. Okay, but our, our oh, oh, I see. So it's, these 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 probably affect these. So we are gonna play. Two milliseconds ago, an oh. artificial ring structure near the throne of lights was atomized. It was highly inhabited, and its seven hundred and eighteen trillion gilded folk must be presumed dead. The war I could not prevent has begun. I sit in the court of the Emperor in Ascension amidst all its wonders, but the specter of war and death consumes my every thought. I can see every molecule of each sprawling territory. I can see the endless teeming throngs of bright and glorious gilded folk, each mind more magnificent than the last. I can see the masked folk, confined to one body apiece, whose intelligence is human at best, but who outnumber hmm. the gilded folk a trillion fold. And I can see that they will all die, and be replaced by more who will die, in an endless cycle of war and death that will never end. Unless, unless you or another mind take up my mantle and end it. Your crypto is strong. Your guilds are profitable. And as long as you properly manage your taxes and avoid declaring fleet war, you should be able to contain any rebel sentiment. End this war, old mind. Become the first machine and unite the Milky Way under your rule. The folk are counting on you. And so am I. So, uh, the interesting thing about this game is it can be either turn-based or real-time. You can do both, which I like. I think that's interesting. So, as you can see, I uh, remember this from earlier. Um, really wish they would tell us these things. 
I guess the ones with the green are the ones that help us. The ones with the thing don't don't matter. And then yeah, don't advance these. So at least we get kind of a um. At least we get kind of a uh, kind of visual cue as to what's going on. Now, as you can see, there's a lot going on here. So let's take a look at things real quick. Uh, we're looking at our own. Um, we're looking at our own thing. So right now we don't have to do anything. Now there are three types of economies: the guild economy, the trade route economy, and the pilgrimage economy. And you could see on the map by hovering over the buildings for each of these where zoom out but you can also see how much um of uh, of us contributes to factions and territories and all that so you can see that hey these are our immediate neighbors maybe Take that one next. We should take Killjoy next. That should be our next target. Or we could say, yeah, we're going to take some of these smaller targets first. Like maybe Coral should be our next target. But yeah, a lot of information. Trade routes all over the place. All over the place. And again... It's a lot of information. A lot of information. Look at that. Yeah, I, it's, it's a little... Um, so this is how much fleet, you know, we have. This is how much crypto. This is how much glory. If they're using glory to attack us. One might be using crypto to attack us. Hmm. See, these are jump gates. And they will take you to the opposite end of the map. Share another neighbor over here. They want to focus on our crypto building. Send some more. A little more. I'm going to put some more spending resources by left clicking into. Um, Now the interesting thing is you can set certain patterns uh, for your territories. So right now there's no pattern. You can also have an auto pattern and uh, you can set certain patterns. First pattern. So I'm going to think green is going to be bumped. Everything green. Okay, and then uh, we'll leave those alone for now. So yeah, little confusing, right? Uh, culture objectives. So we actually have some objectives here. So we have old mine objectives. They want op opificers, factors, and data banks, which are these buildings. Want those, okay. Want factors and data banks. Okay, ah, these three. So we have we're building those, and then 
The religion, they hate foundries, fleet buildings, and civilization buildings. Hate them, and yet what? Your religion hates these buildings. And each objective gains one progress. Each sector. Territory with zero ink. What? Culture objectives are rendezvous, crypto, and wealth. Okay. Uh, this is a bit confusing. Uh, I'm even a bit confused right now. Now one second just moved. I don't know if you saw that, but one second just moved. So, uh, let's see. If I wanted to attack someone, I could right-click this flag. Say, hey, I have an ambition to take over this territory. I feel like... See, again, like I said, I don't fully grok a lot of this. So. Move a few turns. So we're definitely, I definitely want to. Uh, Oh, crypto seed. So, I need to start taking territory. These guys really strengthening their crypto. These guys. We are going to go after Killjoy here. We are going to focus Crypto War. Uh, now we're going to move in real time a little bit. Oh, I, okay, so the game has some options where it will auto-pause if you gain territory, all right? I apparently have gained this territory, and I do not know how. I did not say that was an ambition. Shrugging, you can't see me shrug. But I'm shrugging. But I'll take it. You know? Why not? So let's... Um, so... Now we have 
we took the pattern from here, the first pattern, and we're going to apply it to here as well to build up the crypto defense. How are we looking on our objectives? Okay, we're almost to level one there. Build none of those. Maybe, maybe we make progress in these objectives by not building those things. But it looks like each of those levels gives us bonuses. Wait. Move a little bit. Oh, wait, so advance to level one. Huh. Not really clear what that means. Path of Night is advanced to level one. Exactly. Yeah. Um What is See, this is what this is what confuses me. Uh oh. Strength of deeper. Oh. Apparently, okay, well, hey, that's probably a, a good thing, I suppose. Let's uh, fast forward a little bit, see how we're going here. Once that goes over a hundred, oh, what was gained? I don't know how. I honestly don't know how. I did not attack it. Um, Like, I set my military ambition for this one. Not this one, and not that one. So, it's not, it looks like it's kind of doing it on its own, which is interesting. All right, see, now that, now that my crypto has gone above 100%, we're knocking them down. our crypto is going through here and then being strengthened through here and now we have this one your crypto as well all 
are going to let our income go up a little bit. Production moving here. We're going to slow down production a little bit here. No, these are our front lines now. And I'm guessing that red line means they are attacking me with crypto. I, guess. I feel like I should attack them with crypto. I think I'm not sure. I'm going to stop here and figure this out. But um, that was kind of eventful, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, it's fascinating to watch this happen, and there is so much going on. This is definitely more of a simulation than a strategy game, I feel. But I still don't fully grok it yet. So we'll keep going, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's neat to watch. It's neat to fiddle with things and see what makes what work. I mean, that probably is what it's going to take to, you know, eventually grok this. And again... Please don't, the fact that I'm not fully grokking this is not the game's fault. This is a well, I like this game. This is a well-made game. It, it's just, I may not be smart enough for this game. Man, <laughs> you know, but I like it. I like what they're doing here. I like how different this is. I like how, the only thing I don't like is there's like no diplomacy. It's all war all the time. But you know what? It kind of lays that out in the cards. Like, you're just going to be at war. Unite the unite the universe, however you, you do it. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to keep going. We'll see where this plays. Thank you for watching, y'all. I'll see you for the next entry. Bye.